Welcome to our paper titled Is it safe to share your files on empirical security analysis of Google Workspace? As a result of COVID-19, business collaboration platform has become increasing important and popular. It can enhance people's productivity and their team collaborations. We can use Google Doc for online resource sharing and other collaborations. Besides its native application like the Gmail, the Google Doc, or Google Drive, BCP also supports the third-party applications and they are called add-ons. We take Google Workspace as an example. It has over 2 billion monthly active users and supports over 4,000 third-party applications. Using these apps, you can edit mathematical equations in your Google Doc, insert free images into your Google Slide, or other things. For resources stored in the in BCP workspace, it can be identified by the specific URL. It contains three parts. The first one is the domain name, second one is the, is the application type, and the third one is the resource ID. If the user wants to assess this specific resource, it can take different roles, like the owner, the editor, the commenter. The owner of the resource can share his or her resource with others through two ways. One is that he can add the other user's email address to this field, or he can use the general access, which means anyone in the internet with this link can view and access this, this resource. Besides the access control system designed for user, BCP also supports the access control system designed for add-on, and add-ons can use the exposed APIs to perform actions on user's results, and uh, it must gain the authorization beforehand. But we have identified the three types of vulnerabilities currently existing in BCP. First is that the user access model and the add-on access model are inconsistent, and this will lead to the vulnerability one. The, third, the second is that the sensitive data like the add-on script or code Finally, like some specific productions, and this will lead to the vulnerability too. And last one is that uh, BCP will not differentiate the action made by a real user um, by the add-on, so this will lead to the vulnerability three. And based on these three vulnerability, we have successfully launched three types of different attacks. And for the details, please refer to our paper. So thank you.